Servus and welcome to the Audi Digital Summer Tour Studio. I'm your host, Kati, and it's the final weekend of the tour. I hope you're ready for a strong finish. Yesterday, we had match day, the first test against Marseille is in the books. One goal that we already showed you yesterday. We talked a little bit about the game with FC Bayern legend Vicente Di Zarazu already. But today, we have the full highlights for you. And I have a very special treat because I have FC Bayern legend Lothar Matthäus on the phone already waiting for me to talk to him. Also, we have the story behind Thomas Müller's very special shorts that he wore after winning the German Cup this year. And we also will talk about the next generation of Bayern players. My colleague Taylor Twellman talked to Chris Richards and Alfonso Davis. But let's get started, shall we? I don't think that uh, my guest today, my live guest, needs a lot of introduction. He's probably one of the best known Bayern legends in the world. And his name is Lothar Matthäus. Welcome. Can you hear me? Welcome. Yes, I can listen to you. Regards from Croatia. I'm here on a holiday and I am proud to be today your guest in your studio. Okay, very nice. Croatia. It looks like the weather is just as hot as it is over here in Bayern Munich. Uh, in Bayern Munich, yes, in Munich, Bayern right now. <laughs> okay, so did you actually get a chance to watch yesterday's game? Yes, I was watching the game. I saw a very good uh, presentation from the Bayern Munich team after the break, and uh, they full of the same uh, the spirit. Uh, Team spirit, uh, the, the 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 power, the passion. How they played uh, weeks ago when they won the German uh, championship, they won the German cup. And I don't feel, I didn't feel there was in a holiday. What they was doing, I don't know. But I have a good feeling for the next week, especially for the Champions League games. Uh, and uh, I'm. Really happy to see the team in this uh, in this uh, in this uh, way how they present themselves. Okay, so let's get everybody up to date and just have a look at the highlights before we talk about it a little further. Bayern Munich very easy on the eye. Bayern Munich with a very encouraging comeback, and Bayern with a successful final test ahead of the Champions League rematch against Chelsea. Hansi Flick and the German doubles champion Bayern Munich at the Bayern campus against André Vierspoorsch and Olympique de Marseille at the Audi Football Summit. 16 minutes in, Marseille in the dark blue jerseys with Buna Saar, but his shot was well wide. So Manuel Neuer didn't have to do anything. Manuel Neuer, who managed 15 clean sheets in this Bundesliga campaign. 19 minutes in, nice pass from Alaba to Serge Gnabry. And Gnabry with a nice shot, left-footed, past Mandanda and in the back of the net for the 1-0 lead for Bayern. Not the best of all defendings, but still. Serge Gnabry, he was taking charge and control of this match. Gnabry scored six goals in six Champions League games so far this campaign. It was very hot temperature-wise as well as temper-wise in this friendly. A couple of minutes later, Thomas Müller testing Steve Mondonda, but he was well up to the test. Thomas Müller, 21 assists in the past Bundesliga campaign. In injury time in the first half. Big chance here for Davis, Mandanda, and then Gnabry with a very bad angle. Mandanda with nice saves. He kept the score low, but Bayern was pressing and was trying to score more. But still, 1 0 at the interval in front of the new acquisition, Leroy Zani, and the new assistant coach, Miroslav Klose. Three minutes after the break, Corentin Tolisso with a great chance from Joshua Kimmich's corner. Next up, Coutinho with a nice shot from distance. Bayern was taking charge, trying to up the score, but unable to do so, so far. And then it was time for a welcome back. Niklas Süle was brought in first match involvement after his torn cruciate ligament 
in October. Seven minutes from time, Male Ake with arguably the best chance for Olympique Marseille. But Sven Ulreich, who was brought in for Manuel Neuer, had no problems at all. Bayern looks well prepared for the Champions League rematch against Chelsea on August 8th after the 1-0 victory against Olympique Marseille. Yeah, Lothar, this is actually the only test before the restart of the Champions League. And of course, everyone is asking that question right now. How would you rate the chances of FC Bayern actually going all the way this year in the Champions League? I think they can go far till the final and they have the chance to win the final, especially the game, uh, get game practice yesterday against Marseille. In uh, five days, they play against Chelsea. Sure, it's not an easy game, but when you see the first result, uh, they have uh, a big favor with the three goals for the score uh, in uh, Chelsea. I'm sure they will go to the next round. This is then the next uh, warm up for the quarterfinal. And the quarterfinal, sure, it's a tough game, maybe against Barcelona or against Napoli. Uh, sure, good, two good teams, but uh, I saw Bayern Munich in the last mounts uh, under Hansi Flick. In a great, uh, in a great, uh, they had a great performance in each game. They had a good team spirit, and I think these things, not only the quality of the players, especially these things, makes a difference in a tournament like how is it now in the Champions League? Ten games, uh, ten days, three games, quarterfinal, semi-final, final. And I played World Cups, I played European Championships. This is this rhythmus. The players know this rhythmus, and I think. For me, one of the favorite is Bayern Munich for this uh, Champions League title 2020. Okay, let's hope you're right about that. Let's talk a little bit about yourself. We already got a fan tweet for you. Of course, you are an FC Bayern legend. And the fan wanted to know, what was your most beautiful moment in all of those years for FC Bayern? Do you have special moments? Uh, first, that you remember? I, first, I enjoyed to play for Bayern Munich. It was a big honor for me. Hello? Yes, hello. Mm -hmm. This was always a big honor to play for Bayern Munich with these fantastic fans. Uh, I had 12 years. This was amazing for me. But uh, sure, the best, this was my best goal, for example, for Bayern Munich against <laughs> Bayer Leverkusen. But uh, my favorite moment was uh, when we won the titles in the last game days. Uh, I think this was the last game day. Uh, no, I, I'm not sure. Uh, 1986, uh, we had to win against Borussia München Gladbach at home. And uh, Stuttgart has to win against Werder Bremen. This was 86 the championship. And uh, we won our home game, but we was the band of Stuttgart. And Stuttgart make us a favor to win against Werder Bremen. All the year, we was the second. Only on the last game day, we was the first. And we had a great emotional game in the Olympia Stadium in Munich. And uh, I will never forget this moment when we celebrate with our fantastic fans the, this uh, championship. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you remember it like yesterday. Now, of course, you're still an ambassador for FC Bayern and you get to meet fans all over the world. Um, did you have any special encounters already on those tours, on those trips as an ambassador? Yeah, I was going with, uh, I was going with the team and uh, with all the guys from Bayern Munich the last two years, two years. And uh, we have so fantastic fans everywhere, all around the world. And uh, they're really full of Bayern Munich. Uh, each game, they know everything about in the details and uh, was always fantastic. Doesn't matter we was on the East Coast, on the West Coast, uh, in the middle of the US. It was always fantastic to celebrate with the fans. Uh, not only the games, the same, the parties in the evening, the fan uh, events. And, and, and it was fantastic for me and uh, I miss it this year and uh, I hope next year we can do it again. Mm -hmm. um, you already mentioned some special fan events. We will talk about them in a second a little bit more. There are so many loyal supporters of FC Bayern all over the world. For example, yesterday, even in the test, uh, there was uh, some fans collecting in China, in Chengdu, watching it at 10 p.m. In the, in the evening at Polana Breuhaus. What do you think sets FC Bayern apart from other clubs, being able to have that worldwide family? I think, uh, yes, you talk about family. This was your last word. I think Bayern Munich is a big family. Not only the, the Munich, it's worldwide family. We have friends everywhere, all around the world, in Africa, in all continents, in Australia, in uh, Asia, in America. And I think uh, Bayern Munich is really uh, from the 
feeling, a, a, a big family. The club is doing so much for the fans with their sponsors. And uh, I think this makes uh, Bayern Munich so special. Mm -hmm. So you already mentioned you went with the team on the Out of the Summer Tours, one of them being in the US and Paulana is trying to always put on some special events. We have footage of you going on a very special boat trip together with uh, Stefan Lehmann and Raimond Aumann. Do you remember that trip? Okay, I think we are having... Some technical difficulties. I remember two years ago, okay. and uh, uh, Paulana has not only put Paulana has not only put beer; they have put organization. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, we are having a little bit of trouble uh, understanding. On the coast in. Uh, Okay, we'll try to get Lothar Matthäus back with us here in a second. Let's just jump to the next thing on the show for now. The goal voting. Yesterday, we had to find the final opponent for Arjen Robben, and it was Arjen Robben. And today, it is up to us to find out which goal is the winner, either the one against Manchester United or the one against Dortmund in 2003. 13. And although we know who the winner is, Arjen Robben, we want to know which goal it is. Here is the winner of our Champions League goal voting. You voted for Arjen Robben versus Dortmund in 2013 for the win, of course. Lotta, well deserved? Uh, I think that was the most beautiful goal, but was the most important goal. And I <laughs> agree with the vote of our fans. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Very good goal, important for Arjen Robben, for Bayern Munich, for everybody. And I think uh, this goal make uh, most of the Bayern Munich fans very, very, very happy. But I saw sometimes better goals, more beautiful goals, but I am agree because this goal was something special. Okay, maybe next time we let you pick out the goals to vote on. That's a good, uh. good deal. So we have another fan tweet for you. Um, it's regarding one of the guys that's also responsible for scoring a lot of goals. Can we already treat Robert Lewandowski as a Bayern legend? What do I you give think? my finger up. Yes, he's my <laughs> favorite player. I like all the players by Bayern Munich. But uh, it's the same when uh, the media criticized Robert Lewandowski in, uh, a couple of years ago. I thought always, he's the best number nine in the world. And for me, in this year, he's the best player in the world, not only the number nine. And uh, I hope we get a world football player in 2020. And for me, the favorite is Robert Lewandowski. He's a great player. He's a great person. He's a leader. And you can say, really, he's a legend of Bayern Munich now. Thank you. That was very nice. Lothar Matthäus, have a nice rest of your vacation in Croatia. Thanks so much yeah. for joining us anyway. And hopefully, Always welcome. Yes, hopefully we can uh, welcome you again soon here in Munich also. Okay, thank you very much. Thank Enjoy you. your evening. Enjoy your talking with all our fans around the world from Bayern Munich and send them regards for me. We will. You just did yourself. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, next up, I told you, if you watched the celebrations after the DFB Pokal this year, then you might have noticed that Thomas Müller was wearing very short shorts. <laughs> and we have the story behind those shorts. And they were sent to him by a very special person who got surprised by Thomas Müller himself. Look. I'm back again. Hello, Paris. <laughs> Hello. I was watching you. <laughs> 
Bin ich schon im Bild? Nein. Hi Paris! Hallo! <lacht> Hi! Hallo Paris! Hi, nice to meet Thomas. you! Hi! Hi. Oh It's a pleasure! God. It's a pleasure to meet you! Oh my god! Is this you for saw? real? <laughs> yeah, this is for real! This is for real! Oh my god! I, I saw you have a nice cat! Ah, yeah, you want to see him? <laughs> yeah, I want to see him, yes, I want to okay. see him. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, very he just cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> where, hey. where are you at the moment? In the Philippines. Okay, in the Philippines. Yeah, cool. Wow. Cool. You saw my, uh, you saw my boxer short. Oh. <laughs> You saw my boxer shirt uh, at the yeah. when we won the, yeah. the German Cup. Your fan club uh, had a great party because of the boxer shorts. Yes, of course. It's, I remember because my friend texted me at the midnight. I already yeah, went okay. to bed, and then yeah. I woke up and I was like, "What? <laughs> really? <laughs> my yeah, God, thank you so very, much. It's very comfortable." <laughs> thank you I, that I, you I, like I, it. I'm so I, glad. I had it in I had it in my locker room. The last three uh, three years, Aww. and then I, I said to the kitman, uh, when we win the, the German Cup, we take it to Berlin, and at the party I will wear it. Aww. It was great. It was great. Okay, well, if Paris can get Thomas Müller to wear those kind of shorts, maybe someone in the FC Bayern family around the world has another piece of clothing that we can get him to wear. Maybe you should have a try on that. So next up, we already talked about a lot of young and upcoming players here in the show this week. For example, Chris Richard, who was also on the show with me. And then recently, my colleague, Taylor Twellman, who's also a former soccer player and now media commentator, television commentator for soccer. He had a talk with Chris Richard Richards and also with Alfonso Davis and others. And here's what they talked about. This week, FC Bayern and Audi are running their first ever digital Audi summer tour, connecting with fans across the world. Today, we want to bring attention to the youth academy systems that are essential to the success of the leagues worldwide. The club also is home to three young North Americans. Bundesliga Rookie of the Year, Alfonso Davies. That's got a pretty nice ring to it, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, it does. What are you most proud of? You know, the Bundesliga, you know, it has a lot of good youth players and you know, that just shows like uh, all the work I've been doing, you know, over the years is paying off now. So, uh, you know, just keep going, keep, uh, keep fighting for more. What was the biggest challenge for you moving from Major League Soccer to Bayern Munich? Having quality of players like these guys, uh, I knew that I had to work you know, even harder for my position to, to play, um, and I'm happy that I'm able to. Thomas Mueller, a teammate of yours, called you the Roadrunner. What's the weirdest nickname you've ever been given? I think that one, definitely. <laughs> definitely that one. Chris, it's amazing to think that Bayern Munich's quote-unquote reserve team just won the third division. You were a huge part of that success. Describe how important those games are in the building your confidence, building your profile as a player. It was one of those things where we were a reserve team, so we weren't expected to, to do that much. But I kind of like that feeling of being an underdog where they're not expecting much from us. So we go out there and you know punch people in the mouth. Chris, I don't think enough people understand that FC Dallas has a partnership with FC Bayern and obviously it's come to fruition with yourself making that move. You get to be almost the trailblazer for that partnership. When I first heard about the partnership, you know, I was really intrigued, but I didn't think much would come from it because of me. And then once I signed my homegrown deal, I realized that I hadn't done a whole year in the academy, so I had to get minutes somewhere. I mean, of course, you hear FC Bayern, you you kind of go mm -hmm. crazy, especially a kid from from uh, the states. You know, it's not something you hear every day. And so I was really uh, I was really surprised that they wanted me out of all players to come, but uh, I just knew that I had to hold up my end of the bargain and get as many minutes at a good level as I could. 
As you already know, all our videos in full length can be found on the FC Bayern YouTube channel. So please have a look at that. Have a look at all the videos that we've shown you throughout this Audi Digital Summer Tour, which is coming to the Grand Final tomorrow. I will have a very talented and very young lady sitting next to me tomorrow. She plays on the FC Bayern Frauen team, the FC Bayern women's team. Then we will also talk to the only, I believe, all women's fan club in the United States. They're called the Red Ladies. We will have a call to them. We also have a lot of fun stuff prepared for you with your favorite FC Bayern stars. So I can't wait to see you for the final day of the Audi Digital Summer Tour Studio. Have a nice Saturday and I'll see you tomorrow.